There are contradicting reports about Ukraine's counterattack. Ukraine has enough weapons to launch a counteroffensive, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba told Reuters. We already unlocked all weapons. There is nothing big left to fight for. He was quoted as saying. However, the minister did not answer the question whether Ukraine has already started its counteroffensive, saying that what matters most is not when it started, but that it brings victory for Ukraine. He also said that Kiev has received no official complaints from its allies over the activities of Ukrainian sabotage groups in Russia's Belgorod region. Touching on Ukraine's possible accession to NATO, Kuleba said its membership in the alliance will not stop the conflict, but NATO membership will stop further wars. This is why the best way to ensure security in the region is to come to the moment when Ukraine becomes a member of NATO, he added. Deputy head of the Ukrainian presidential office, Igor Zovkva, told The Times that Ukraine needed more artillery and armored vehicles for a successful offensive. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview with the Wall Street Journal earlier that Kiev was ready for a counter-offensive, but various scenarios were possible. The top of Ukraine's possible offensive has been floating in the mass media for months. Russia's foreign ministry said earlier that the West's speculations about Ukraine's counter-offensive only prove its direct involvement in the conflict.